Chris Turing, August Jack Lynch, August son Billy Morgan. Cork Cuyacht and score. Rounded and a body shot, Billy Morgan gets to it. In my agony, I think now it's Billy, Mr. Football, the Cork And Billy has saved it. He was the best goalkeeper I ever saw play. And Sean Walsh for Kerry, dangerously moving. Oh, brilliantly saved by Billy Morgan. It's Cowan Road here. It's Farah Abad Ganesh Dean, Imido Hilesh, Lena Horle. August, we found the Hoyt, we found the Horhe, it really a bonny Buchan. I was given use to making mistakes, but I went down hard. Like Billy the Kid. Yeah, I went down hard. Yeah, but I got up again. Rugu Billy in Yeshkirt no Karva Gorko. I was a gimmers pella or who's Ashtok Kuyors no Tossiche, a homedic shaska cool yer eye, so cool, or to no one a chair, a fetch, Rave Shafada. La Bua Club Rainy can name only the Rachdu do, a gate Rave Kunde, Capu Marhaptin at a wooden Kunde, eh, on Vlian Dargian. Marhaptin is doch a nidic shacht out sea, a far in sporadic about Billy, a sticks of oid. Agus nuri fosse hans e shacht out si hogdar gumaha. The tail on to the left, but it's going to be kept in play. It's hitting up front. It's a goal! It's a goal! And uh, uh, Jimmy Barry Murphy! Jimmy Barry Murphy! But I remember um, like about the 73 final, uh, even before the final, like when Jimmy Barry Murphy got his second goal with a few minutes to go. That put us seven points up. And the, the feeling of euphoria, um, I sank to my knees. I remember sinking to my knees and thanking God that at last, right in All Iron Medal, I mean, it was always my ambition to win All Iron Medal with Cork. I got on pleasure, Agamanis. I'm putting sure of one of our captain, Corky Billy Morgan. The Boris Leve point to mark. Agus Holon is Sula Hop Fanachton, Ach Nimar Hilter, a beater. I think the, the, the biggest problem that that team had in 74 was they had a very easy monster final against Kerry. Back again. And across from Jimmy Barry Murphy, Dave McCarthy. Oh, Dave is in the danger of the goal from Dave McCarthy. And there was a feeling um, among us in our team that we were invincible, you know, that we wouldn't be beaten and took it for granted that we'd take anybody in front of us, which would cost us in the end. Gru Black Sea and Horko go home long gone, Hunyas and out to Yakanish. That slave should fight the Lum Rupa, Miss Nyart Achtri, a Tosnu in the Yak Shachtushe. This is the dramatic scene in Porky Cleave, Cork's magnificent new stadium, which was only opened a month ago. Yeah, it was the, the first major game played here. Um, the crowds were huge, massive, and uh, they couldn't hold them in, in the stand and the terrace and this over and they were, you know, right around the whole pitch, like, I mean, right behind the goal. The man to take it, number 14, Mike Shee, kicking it now, it's stopped. 10 points each, 10 points each, it's a draw. Sonia Hemmert, Vach Kuyor Kunzboide Edebord, Agus Aynes Elle, Fiu Soller Hassan Cliffe. Hug Andy Daz, Gansi Hinoogun Himidori, Achni Gachtene, a Visasta. Begin Go Imidori Khorka, on Andy Daz logo, a Hludo, the tape, Sonia Hemmert, the Mahara Bark. He got into the dressing room and he gave us the jerseys. Um, you know, there were Ronick jerseys, number one, which personally I didn't like. And uh, they had three stripes and Adidas written across the, the chest here. So before we went out, the officials were going around with black tape, putting it over the, the Adidas sign. Uh, 
the tape lasted about three minutes on our jerseys because it just peeled off and, and fell off. But I remember looking at Billy when the chairman was sticking the thing. <laughs> that was the closest that man came to death, I'd say. Nero in June, eight tools in the Kunstboy Day. Taken to Sean Walsh and it's off. Taken off the line. No, it's over the line. The young part is signaled it back. It's a goal. Yes, it's a goal. Brian's feet were just behind the line, but he was crouching and there's no way that the ball was over the line. But that wasn't the end of our misfortunes. And we got a free, you know, Sean Murphy, throw it in. Dixon Barron came for that, punched it in the back of the net. But amazingly, the goal was just a load. John Maloney running in to consult the two umpires. Wants to know what happened. Oh, it's been disallowed. Some forward was in the square before that free came in from Sean Murphy. Og i dag er han sånn at Gunnip Horko gikk og skåske og de almbresje, en almbresje, vi skår og noen mor og fyr for å alm. Og vi korker gikk en årsyn, en hårre, le kjære gikk og skåsteine, og nære åkler har en la av det her sin. Nage benedt, og vær takk av her en kjen, en sånn, en blen der gjøn. Og på le kjære en la, og så hos og rei, fatt og årgå, når vi gjerte. Fra den perioden, 70... Five to eighty-three. Kerry beat us every year in the Munster final, and I was part of all of those with Bar nineteen eighty-two. I used to go back into the dressing room, all of us six sitting down, and Mikko would come in and <laughs> come out with this. Lads, don't be too down. Uh, football was the real winner today, and look, you're the second best team in the country. Some consolation to hear that year in year out. And I'm surprised that someone didn't throw a boot or something at Mikko uh, in, in our dressing room, that he got out scot-free. Lidia Gortouche, Capo Billy Morgan, Ganes, and Eden Shincher Korka. Augusta Rear Hale for Korka, Marstrucht, and Hulachunda Elit Satir. The first game was in Parky Creeve. And, you know, Cork were a better side on the day. But um, Mikey Sheehy conjured up that amazing goal. Being number for Mikey Sheehy and Coulson, talking to Billy, they're a glue and I was a lot of source in Niger Town. I was in Shin on 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 Rodas Moor, as me and Billy, or Kushiks, or on Nats and Shiks of Clare, you know, the Anadi Moor, Dominic and Clare Shin Kyle again. One week later, we went down to Killarney for the replay and won it well. And right across the face of the goal, Larry Tompkins checking inside, Tom Spillan drawing defenders to him. That's a very fine score. One of the nicest points of the match so far. Cork leading by four. He has remained up on the full forward line. Must be very tired from his exertions in the last four weeks as John Perry shuts it over the bar and Cork doing very, very little wrong on what seems to be a famous day in the annals of Cork football. John Perry's. Near Vormer, Kiri, or Shakta Kahar, Stoker. So, well, Count of Ron, Octo Three. So, Vimer on Hostoger, Kiri, Botabing, Lanamur, Gideon, Craven Hairden. At one stage, we looked like winning easily. We were five points up and we missed a great chance for a goal. Um, McLean's made a great lockdown and me down, got a goal from it straight away. Once again it's dangerous, burn up play, it's outside by the goalkeeper, but this time it's in, it's a goal by Carabao Road. The referee has a quick check on the watch, half a minute of injury time played, but it's really only a matter of time, there it is! Yes, me have won the All-Ireland final! Cray vach du schach, Carl Jacob, ach wedi sir ash an och du och. And not tactically exo like a on shed with ele. The Tahi Stoker, it comes to me and Orshin, couldn't get stuck in Stoker. Nura Billy are all linger, connection, you know, a force, you know, the harder shit. Overhit the pass to Dennis Allen. Oh, high from the foot of Dennis Allen to Mick Lyons. It's from Alamore Wood. Such a good final last year. Oh, he wasn't expecting that. That came in on his blind side completely from Barry Coffey. This is O'Connor. Can they get on level terms? Cork must not foul. Meath must get a point. It's a free in. David will tell you himself he played for free. 
far as I was concerned, it was not a free, but unfortunately, Mr. Tommy Sugru gave the free and the need equalised. One nine for Cork, 11 points for Meath, 45 seconds into injury time, and the sides are level. There was all kinds of talk um, between the, the drawing game, the replay, you know, that next time out Meath were going to um, sort us out after what happened in the first game. And our plan was, if there was any incident, everybody in. To hold that, that's Niall Cahalan, and there was a wild fist that time, and the referee going back there, trying to sort this one out, and Jerry McEntee is the player that he's trying to get a word with. Some of the others are shaping up to one another as well. And we were leading by two points when Jerry McEntee struck Niall Cahalan. So my instructions were to the team there and then look, OK, that's it now. Don't get involved anymore. Just keep playing football. And I think it was the biggest mistake I ever made in my life. Paul McGrath here has the skill to open up chances inside. And that's a very high challenge by Colm O'Rourke. But the referee didn't see it that way. It's giving his space, but it might come good yet. The back up here from Teddy McCarthy. Well and taken down by Mick Lanza. That should be another bookable event, surely. The referee is calling for the ball, it's all over. Sam, a Two men who played a huge part in their success. The holders retain their title, defeating Cork for the second year in succession. Getting there first. Inside towards Anthony Finity. And it's Noel Durkin. This is Finity. That's a goal. Dwayne Finity is one of them. The driving shot. Oh, it's gone screaming across the face of the goal. People said Anthony Finity put away, but John Cairns made an absolutely marvellous save. The, the, the umpire didn't give it 50, but he did give his fingertips to it and push it out. The turn. Well tackled by Michal Collins, but it's still McCarthy. And the high angle shot has gone over the crossbar. Michael McCarthy has picked two points for Cork since coming on as a substitute, given a lot of leadership. And there it is, Cork are the All-Ireland football champions. Billy Morgan never stopped believing that there was an All-Ireland in this team. And it was his belief for the last three years that kept this panel of players going. And his Blaney certainly the flag on the cash to Shenan. Cliffy Canishella and Tom Shaw and I have Sean Norwood on V. Oh dear. Oh, that's rather senseless by Colm O'Neill. That really is senseless. Oh, I think he's been sent off. But straight back out into the arms of a cork man again. This time it's Shea Fahey. Defiantly driven it back in and he's put it over the bar. He's got three points in the match. Tompkins the free taker. Into Shea Fahey. And what's a very dark afternoon really here in Croke Park. The picture you're seeing is a good deal brighter. And it's looking particularly bright for Cork right now. As Shea Fahey kicks his fourth point of the match. Band of fans. The subs wait. The double has been achieved. It's Cork's All Ireland. It's Cork's year. As it turned out, the 1990 final wiped the slate clean in every sense of the word because, I mean, we did have to live with losing in 88 against 14 men Mead. And um, not alone like that we beat them in 1990, but we also did it with 14 men. Sam Maguire goes proudly back to Lee side. Tom Creedon, he won a minor all Ireland with Cork in 1972. He slipped in a centre-back and he was a very, very good one in 19, that, that year in 1976. 
Uh, he was outstanding actually. Um, and later he even played midfield. He was on mid midfield on the team that won, won the, the, the National League in 1980. Now the only the regret I have, the night before I went to America in 1982, uh, I had gone out for a few pints with a few friends and he called here to the house with his wife, Marion, and unfortunately I missed him and little did I know then that I was never to see him again um, because uh, some months later um, I got a phone call from Cork to say Tom had been uh, injured I think it's ironic that he actually died the night that Dublin beat Cork um, in that 1983 replay. McCarthy was one of the characters on the team. When I uh, came into the Cork scene, that I felt he was a fellow I wanted. Very, very popular. Uh, great company, great to be out with. And um, it was tragic, um, tragic the way he died. You know, coming back from Clanmel because it was such a, a series of events. If even one of them was changed. Um, you know, he wouldn't have been killed. We became quite friendly, possibly because we were both goalkeepers. John, again, was a very strong character. Um, He's a great keeper, a great keeper, uh, um, as good as I've ever seen. Among the group, very, very popular, I don't think anyone could say a bad word about John Cairns. I got a phone call from Coleman Corrigan to tell me that um, John had been diagnosed with cancer. But the sad thing about John, and he said to me that time that he'd only, he was given six months, and he said, all I want now, he said, in the six months, I can go to matches. Um, no, I have a point or two. Um, with, the, with the lads, but he didn't even get that. Like, he, uh, he, he didn't even, he didn't get six months, you know. And um, it was very sad, really. In Ashland, the club playing rain and hinimo, she Billy, crown tack on the pillar, unshin freshing. Thomas and Roland Linimo, she in the club, she in the night, Phil McCardown, I was when me Anna Ahas, as the boona, the Vietnamese. Buona ni won go hot you, a har level notion to come on. The first one against Cross Malina, we were as on favourites. We were well on top. She stole the tackle, the tackle, the tackle. Alan Cronin, the son, pointed the tackle. Cronin, he would score. Debuinte against Ren Hanimo, Shach pointed against Chris Fillion. Cross Malina came out in the second half and absolutely blew us away. Riding Shenagas come out, goes into the first shot. Kira McDonald went hard to have it. Well, McDonald reached and it's a third and a shin point then scored. Alan Corkery got a goal to bring it back to one point. And it's a goal and it's a Corkery. But it's a Corkery. It's a shin point to get one and kick it to the end. But it's a good one. But we just couldn't get the equaliser. Fyre and Janard there. Corkery to the east. Nellan, Tamashir, Corkery. A door set in and bring it to. Bert could have got a Corkery. John 
I said in the dressing, we're going to be back here next year. And I firmly believed it. Um, I knew we were good enough. Against Ballandary in 2002, we were probably favourites again. We were doing nicely in the first half, and I thought getting on top, um, we're in front when uh, Ballandary got a goal. We were well back in the game, had reduced um, the margin to one point and looked like winning it at that stage when again Ballandary got another disastrous goal. Barry Murphy took a boy against Shantz Glover to get Ballandary to talk goal. On Cole Bader, a Yenig and Vertoy, Fartige. Last year was defeating the All Ireland final. This year again, what now for Nemo Rangers after this? Well, we're playing at Cork County Championship in uh, four weeks' time. We prepare for that and we'll be ready and we'll be back here again next year. You can bet your life on that. I believed that they were good enough, but I did say to myself, I wonder, are they believing it after um, a second defeat? But it's big by the stores, the teas. A heilig raw lohe camish. As a chile, him or ye nemo, but bevish a creer or dot of fatherish go her canish, because Roy Hounder as a chile, a halloo. Ah, what shan't you blend as a chile on Nish Shin Eir? No Matawan is telling her right to get Brian Crow, Nishin Meyer and so, no Matsavish, Johnny Leonard, look out the Shahoin, Nemo arranged. Mick Daly, Straka had the most come in, Roth with the Gabriel Walter could say. Colin got that free, it was practically out on the touchline. And I felt, it, good and all as Colin is, that maybe it was that bit out of his range. But he just came up to me and said that uh, you're a bit too far out from the ground. So I said, yeah, a small bit. And I said, look, try and walk it a little bit closer. I was going to put it down and have a go, but uh, Morris made it short. Dart and um, I gave it to him, he gave it back, and uh, the rest is history. Tokyo Gara, Corkery, Ogal Hernesh, Owen Wallace McCarthy, Gutak, Sharon Moore, me, Dr. Martin, Probably the best point I've ever seen, and uh, definitely a score worthy of winning any All Ireland. Tokyo Gara, Corkery, Ogal Hernesh, Owen Wallace McCarthy, Gutak, Sharon Moore, me, Dr. Martin, Stach again, Colin Corkery, Vise, Shea, Vieta, Shach, Vieta, Stach, Don Gould, Ach, Skor, no Tate, Vat. Dear Sawal, Niakame, Ala, Hedgeri, McGuinness, Agus O'Brien, Portiki O'Brien, Harmar, Long Hulley, Oye, McGeary, Agus, John Maldi, and Tachama, again. Larry, Kamenev, the Tata, Lord, Shea, In all my years involved with Nemo, and I've been involved a long time now, and uh, any of our victories, this, without a doubt, it ranks as the best of all, the sweetest of all. I learned in a hugni small the hockey is told him I have pelle na 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 Billy Morgan, Mary Miller, Agus and the Jackson man banished or. He's as enthusiastic now about Nemo and football as he was the first time he ran a team about 1950 something. No other winning to Roddy Egan and Mach. The former player played in the club. Ach, Tashishin Imihenish. Um, August Nilian 